These full succulent shadow boxes adds just a touch of greenery to any wall space. Here I made these two really nice full succulent shadow box wall hangings. If you are interested in finding out how I made these wall hangings, please stay tuned. So what you will need for this project is this wall hanging here. I purchased this from Target for, I believe it was $3. So I purchased two. You need some, some type of foam. You can actually use a foam board also. Glue gun, glue sticks. I purchased this adhesive spray from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but just in case. I have some metallic paint. I actually purchased this from Walmart. Um, the color is antique copper. And here, my succulents. These succulents uh, were purchased from the Dollar Tree. So I got different colors, shapes, and sizes for this one and I also purchased some floral moss here from the Dollar Tree this is another one this is more green like a green color and I had this, I think this is reindeer moss from a previous, I had some leftover from a previous um, DIY project that I made. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of the moss, but I definitely have it here just in case. You also will need a paintbrush or a sponge. I'm using a little sponge here. And those are the ingredients that you will need for this project. Stay tuned. So to begin, you're going to need to cut out this the shape with foam board or some foam a foam sheet so all I did was I placed the hexagon on the shadow box I guess they call it on the sheet and then I traced it See here, I traced it from the inside. Okay, so right now I'm going to place the foam, I'm gonna turn it around, and I'm going to place the foam on the back. 
like so. But before I do that, I'm going to add some glue, like some hot glue on the edge right here. And then place the foam just to add some secure to um excuse me to make it a little bit more secure so i want to go ahead and correct myself i think you should add the glue to the tip of the foam then place it or you know fix it inside of the shadow box like i have here and then i'm going to go back and add some more glue to the edge just to secure it in really well. Okay. So I went ahead and added some glue in the insides, as you can see right here. And then I went and I painted the edge with the copper color that I showed you earlier metallic antique copper so I added one coat I'm going to go ahead and add another coat and we'll move on to the next step so I'm going to basically fill in with this reindeer moss here. I've decided to use my E6000 glue. I think it would, work, it would work better. So basically I'm just going to open it, open the top and just apply, apply the glue So, well, I learned the hard way not to use E6000 glue on foam because look what happened. It just ate right through. So I guess my best bet is to use um, the hot glue gun. So all I'm doing is I'm apply I'm rolling the moss into a ball. I'm applying some hot glue and then I'm just pushing it in. So this is how it looks so far. So I've added the first layer of moss and I'm going to begin to, to place my succulents in the shadow box. So this one is really big so it's kind of just hanging down. I'm going to place that at the edge right here like so. And if I need to trim the stem, I can, all I have to do is just remove it and trim the stem. So I kind of wanted to show you how it would look. So the succulent would kind of overlap outside of the box. So here's another one. I'm going to place this right here like this like that okay. 
So I went ahead and added some hot glue to the stem. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick the succulent in like so. Then I'm going to turn it around on the other side and just trim down the stem the stem is a little hard the stem actually has a wire to it just break off the stem So I went ahead and trimmed off the stem and then I added some more hot glue around the stem just to secure it and then I'm just going to turn it around and add more succulents. So this is how it looks like so far with the succulents added to the shadow box. And my next step is to add this green floral moss. Just to add some color. I took the moss and I rolled it up in a tight ball. Then I added some glue hot glue and now I'm basically going to place it fill in around the succulents 